uh, Ryan Hardy. How did that feel? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, obviously, when I started on the bench, I just wanted to make sure I was ready to come on and make a positive impact, and I think I did that. <laughs> you did that and some. Um, talk to, to us about what it was like watching on, because 16,500 people were watching on, and it was just the most crazy-looking game. What were you thinking from a player's perspective? Uh, watching it for the side, it's a lot different. Um, I feel like we never got started until they scored their goal. So I think that kicked, kicked us into life a bit. So once they went 1-0 up, it obviously took us about a minute and a half to get back into it. So that uh, that got us going. But it was it was played like a proper derby. There was uh, tackles, goals. Fans were brilliant. Um, they kept us going the full game. And uh, I think they pushed us over the line in the end. Uh, it's just the feeling you get when you're running through a goal and you, you hear the noise, you go, oh. And then the celebrations, it's brilliant. Um, and uh, just so happy to get the win. The most important thing was three points and to keep the the uh, unbeaten run at home going. Yeah, it's not just an unbeaten run, it's a 100% start to the season and it's a club record. Club's never won nine in a row. To do it against Exeter City is not a bad way to break a record, is it? Yeah, well I'm glad that they never broke it. So, <laughs> uh, no, As you say, uh, we don't read too much into these things, we just take one game at a time, but um, getting the win, getting that record, if, if, that's, uh, if that's what it is, it's uh, something that we're very proud of, but it's only another game we need to keep going. Let's talk about your goals. First one, Great take, great finish. Noise was unbelievable from where I was. How did it feel for you when you saw it go in? Yeah, it was unreal. Um, obviously, Morgs takes a lot of credit for his pass. Um, he looked up, I took a touch, and it was just instinctive. Um, finish it in the front post with the net. Uh, but as you said, when it went in, the noise was incredible, wasn't it? I just ran across a little knee slide. I keep getting fined from knee slides on the pitch. I owe the, take it. All the ground's been all the beer in the world, but I absolutely take it if I can... Uh, keep scoring the goals and I'll, I'll keep buying the beer no problem and, and then the second one obviously kind of put a lovely gloss in it people could, could breathe finally in a game that was so topsy-turvy yeah it was but I think at the time we were still about 10 minutes to go so I don't think I took us, me or anyone the team took a foot off the gas right until the whistle because you just never know what will happen if they manage to nick a goal it's only one in it um, but as I said two gives you a bit of breathing space and I think it settled everybody down a bit yeah it was, uh, it was good to get it y you obviously have been at at massive atmospheres as a fan watching Rangers old firm games today felt like a you've said it felt like a proper derby game and at the end stood in front of the Devonport end with them all singing Hardy's on fire I mean what is that like yeah it's unreal it's one of the highlights of my career um, obviously to do it for the club uh, it's such a massive importance the game uh, I was just absolutely delighted to come on and get the goals but a lot of credit's got to go to the boys that, um, that started the comeback I mean everybody that was on the pitch but put everything they had in the game. Uh, Bally scored a wonder goal, Morgan took a wonder goal to get us back into the game, but I take some of the credit, but it goes to all the boys and all the management staff, all the, everybody around the place, um, for the fans, to the owner, to the, the management, everybody. Um, they deserve a lot of credit for it because everybody's working hard. Do you reckon you can sleep, you'll sleep tonight? No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. No, I'll be up for days now. 